uh, our snacks, Cooper the dog, detective, and his sidekick who helped him. And we discovered that Jesus loves me, that only Jesus satisfies, and I can put my faith in Jesus. Our group of children was stellar and special. They were well behaved, they were attentive, and they were fully engaged. So well done, student detectives, and well done, mom and dad, for supporting the students. Now, if you participated as a teacher or a helper, would you stand up because we want to say thank you to you too. There were a lot of you. Okay, that's right, amen. God bless you for helping us this week. <laughs> and you can take a little time off tomorrow and be back to church on Sunday, okay? All right, you can put those back up there for me. And now Miss Carol is going to uh, share some of the songs that, and, and, and Bible verses, I think, that the kids had. Let me sit over here by you. Okay. Turn around with a big smile. Okay? Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little what's to. It's starstruck. They are weak, but.
God so loved the world That he gave his only son That whoever believes in him Should not perish but have eternal life John 316 For God so loved the world
Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. Way beyond the blue. To Lord, oh to Lord, oh to remember me. To Lord, oh to Lord, oh to remember me. To Lord, oh to Lord, oh to remember me. Way beyond the blue. To Lord, oh to Lord. short skit. Uh, Jesus, you want to take some of your followers to the back door? And uh, the Miss Pharisee, wherever you are, go to the back. And, and who's sheep? Can, sheep is... Boy, I really cannot see after... Oh. Did I set my play over here? And that's all right. No, I was just my eye. Oh, here's my play. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Is she in the play? Is she going to be one of Jesus's? Jesus? Huh? Yeah, I was going to say she. There you go. Okay. Grandma will take you. Grandma will take you. Okay, and there's my, sorry. Okay. We'd like to share one of the little Bible stories. I've got them all. Thank you, sweetheart. Uh, we're going to just share one of our Bible stories that we had, that, the, that we, they did a little skit on it. 
crowds, can you hear me with this? Crowds of people, pardon? Turn it up. Okay. Please, Mike, can you turn it up? Crowds of people follow Jesus. Crowds of people follow Jesus. Everywhere he goes. Everywhere he goes. People always hope to see him. They want to hear him. They want to hear what he has to say. All kinds of people follow Jesus. Rich people, poor people, sick people, even boys and girls. One day Jesus is teaching. A group of Sadducees and Pharisees and scribes are listening. They are leaders in the temple. They follow many rules and seem to do many good things. Scribes and Pharisees thought God loved them best. They kept all God's commandments. They made sure they always went to church. They said their prayers every day. They read their Bibles. They tried to do good works. Boy, God must really be giving them a thumbs up. But the scribes and Pharisees had the wrong idea about what God loves or who God loves. They thought you had a right relationship with God by doing good things. They thought they were much better than other people, particularly tax collectors and sinners. Tax collectors and sinners were also listening to Jesus. Tax collectors are people who collect tax money for the Roman government. Tax collectors were known for being dishonest and greedy people. They lied and stole people's money. Yeah, get every coin up off the ground for sure. You are a tax collector. <laughs> the sinners were a group of people called sinners because they disobeyed God's laws. <laughs> when the scribes and Pharisees saw that Jesus welcomed tax collectors and sinners, they were angry. They whispered and muttered. This man, Jesus, he welcomes tax collectors and sinners. They don't deserve God's love. But Jesus welcomes these people. Jesus knows what the scribes and Pharisees are thinking. So, he tells them a story about the good shepherd. This story gives clues about what is important to God and how God sees people. There was a good shepherd who had 100 sheep. He loved them. He cared for them. He protected them from many dangers. He even knew them all by name. The good shepherd. The good shepherd counted his sheep. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, I had one more. <laughs> oh no, one of them has wandered off and now is lost. That poor sheep might not, might not find any food. He might be attacked by a wolf. Sheep can't take care of themselves. They don't know how to find the best food and water. They need a shepherd who loves them and who protects them. This lost sheep wandered away from his shepherd who loved him and cared for him. What a terrible thing to be lost. Well, immediately the shepherd left the 99 sheep and went looking for that lost little sheep. You and I are like that lost sheep. God loves you and he cares for you. But because you're a sinner, you've wandered off on your own. This is sin. Did you know the Bible says all we like sheep have gone astray? Each of us has turned to his own way. 
Doing what you want and not what God wants is sin. You have gone your own way and not God's way, and you do wrong things. And if I can read it, I'll get through it. When you, when you say or do mean things to brother, sister, mom, or dad, that's not God's way. That's your way. Because God's way is to love and respect everyone, no matter who they are. You and I are born sinners. We were born with a want to to do our own way, not God's way. Because you have sin, you've wandered away from God and his ways. Just like this lost little sheep, you're lost without your good shepherd, Jesus. Did you know that's why Jesus came to earth? We learned that this week. For the Son of Man, that's Jesus, has come to seek and to save that which was lost. That's why Jesus came to earth, to seek and to find and save those that are in their sin. Well, the good shepherd was so happy when he found his lost sheep. Joyfully, he lifted the frightened sheep in his strong arms. He carefully put it on his shoulders and headed home. What a wonderful shepherd. He loved his sheep so much. And what a wonderful, loving shepherd to you and me. We're the little lambs. Do you remember the word up for that day? Word up. Jesus loves me. That's right. Jesus knows we're lost in our sin. And that's why he came to earth. To find us and to save us. Keep your detective skills engaged. Because we're going to be discovering Jesus. And how he saves us from our sin. Well done. Well done. <laughs> okay. Um, that is all we have, I promise. So, <laughs> um, Carol. Um, no, I did not. I, we had everybody stand up a minute ago, but I want to say a special thank you to Barbara. Barbara, there you are. <laughs> the sets and all of these visuals Barbara does for us, and we just count on her. <laughs> we tell her what we want, and she does it. Okay. Well, I can see, I know you're impressed with these children. Phil, can you give us a blessing? Good night. And I'm not, there's Phil. He's hiding from me. Okay. Thank you. Uh, can I say one thing? I know y'all think I can't say one thing. <laughs> we know you, Brenda.